Hello, everybody. I'm back for um, card number two in this Halloween play challenge for 2017 for Antivirus Graph and Craft. Now, you watched me make this first video using this first die by Sizzix and Tim Holtz. I thought for the second video I would use this beautiful owl die. Now, this is what the die looks like it's just the one die in the package. And um, it um, it's pretty big um, and what I thought I'd do is um, I would cut it out of black cardstock. Now this die is a negative die meaning that when you die cut um, the card front it um, like it doesn't cut aw it doesn't cut away from your card front it just cuts into it and leaves a pattern. Um, so what I thought I would do is also use these um, um, Sizzix word dies in combination. I moved the die up to the top um, so that it would die cut out of the top part and then I used the word boo um, and I thought I would do this kind of um, card front today. So um, the card front is uh, four and a quarter by five and a half which is just your standard um, card front and it's going to take up the whole um, card um, I won't leave a border for this one. Um, I'm just sticking everything down here with washi tape and I'm going to send it through my Big Shot and um, this is what it looks like when it comes out. Um, so that's what I meant when I said uh, it leaves behind um, a negative space. Um, I think this is just so fabulous. So what I'm doing now is I'm cutting up some um, watercolor paper. I'm going for this color scheme Victorian Velvet, followed by Seedless Preserves, followed by Wilted Violet, followed by Dusty Concord um, in an ombre effect like I did with that first card um, you saw me make. Um, I'm using my blending tool, I'm just applying the first layer um, and I'm gradually getting darker and darker and as I go on to, um, as I finish off with each darker color, I go back with the lighter color um, and blend in um, the edges in between um, to make it look uh, cohesive and uh, not so nasty as it's looking at the moment. But that's just the first stage, so <laughs> I always, I always try to prepare myself. Like the first stage, it's okay. It's got to be ugly. Uh, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Um, so yeah, I really, um, I really imagined this um, when I saw this die in my head. I imagined a beautiful purple, like a night purple sky, um, and uh, it just looks fantastic when you um, superimpose this um, card front on it. I love it, and I love how the boo in the underneath also shows um, from the outside. Um, and so I've just, I've got this scrap, I've got millions of scrap paper and it just drives me crazy. And I've got one that's like a metallic gold and I thought, where am I ever going to use this? So here we go. <laughs> it's perfect here because um, like gold, like yellow is the opposite color, the complementary color of purple and it just looks so fabulous here. And what I'm doing is I'm also, I grabbed the die and the bats from the first um, die from the Haunted House set and I thought I'd add them also here and they're great. Um, I taped the boot cut out the the yellow the, the metallic boo um, on so they it wouldn't fall out and now I'm just adding some foam tape because I wanted to prop up the black card front just so that you could see um, the shadow of the twisted um, branches it looks amazing in real life because you can see the shadow cast by the light and it really looks kind of creepy with the spooky twisted gnarly branches um, and so I am just um, playing with this formation of owls. I knew I wanted the um, the owl, the um, moon behind the owl, and I I wanted to put the smaller moon in the smaller owl towards the moon, and the larger owl um, more um, bat. Sorry, the smaller bat near the moon, and the larger bat like a little bit closer to us. Um, now I thought I was done here, but I wanted to do one more thing. Um, I love, I love googly eyes, right? So, 
So I wondered if the googly eyes would go really good with with this owl. He kind of I didn't want to take it off to make it look like he was purple eyes, so I left the black inserts in there. But I thought I wonder if he would look okay with yellow googly eyes, and he actually does. I asked my husband, and he said um, with. I asked my mom, she said without. And so, what do you guys think? Do you like with or without? I love this die because it uh, really uh, creates some really simple cards. Um, all you need to do is an amazing background and then just die cut a card front and you have this amazing card. Um, you can also experiment with different colors of the uh, actual die cut and you can also make different backgrounds. So your challenge uh, this time is to perhaps make a purplish background. Also dig through your stash and pull out something owly perhaps and uh, stick some googly eyes on that owl and make something pretty amazing for Halloween. I hope you guys are inspired by this video and I hope to see you for my next one. Have a nice day!